So uh, we have good data. We know the data works, and as a matter of fact, we know that the data is uh, anything beyond, actually it's beyond game changer. But it seems that we have to package this data for the patient to understand it, get a feeling for what it truly is, what we are offering them. Now, in this slide, you see the natural history of the spine. Obviously, when we are born, the spine has very little function because uh, it's not coordinated. And obviously, hopefully, when we are die, when we are 100 years old, after a good life, obviously, spine has no function, meaning that it starts at zero and it goes to zero. But uh, you know, just understanding, uh, uh, John, you have seen this, but uh, Mike, when do you think the maximum uh, performance of the spine is? What age? I would say 25. Most of people say that, but that's not the case. The maximum uh, the function of the spine is between 12 and 16. That is why most of the, the, the Olympic gymnastic people are in that range group here, as you see. But we can function quite well um, up to when our spine function drops below like 25. And that sort of, as well, you know, most of the people between the age of 70 and 80, that's when they need really help with their daily activity with the spine and so on. So we do quite well. Now, obviously, there are some genetic factors, some childhood. If you have a bad childhood, you know, spine habit, uh, you're in the front of the computer all the time or where you're active, you cannot achieve your maximum spine capacity. And what that means as well, that for the adult, if you have good spine habit, and good spine habit doesn't mean athletics, not necessarily, but good spine habit, you have a, you know, you can get more mileage of your spine versus if you have bad spine habit. We all know inspired spine health is not a surgical service, it's a spine health service. And with our protocol that we so painstakingly we have put together, including multi-dimensional protocol, cooperation with the chiros and physical therapy and pain service, we move that curve. So just by the virtue getting enjoy, joining us and getting exposure with us, we can move that bad curve to good curve. And the area that is from bad curve to good curve is what you gain in life. All, all the more you know, fun stuff you can do, all the, the more activities you can attend. Now, let's imagine somebody has a spine disease. Literally, you fall off the cliff. And uh, I come back to that. This is truly falling off the cliff because you lose activity. If you lose activity, you fall below where you need more help, that, that you need somebody to do grocery for you with 55. And as well, if all the things you cannot do. And guess what? If you quit walking, I come back to that, your entire body shuts down. Now here, same curve with the normal curve and have a spine disease. Now, open surgery, because it's so risky, it has to be started. We have to wait a long time before we even offer patient surgery because it's so risky. It destroys patients back. And for many cases, we tell them, you're too old, you're too big, surgery will kill you. We are not going to do the surgery. In truth, we told them, you cannot die on my table as a spine surgeon. You are just pushing the risk out of our practice because if you quit walking, your heart will decondition and a year or two later, you will die of a cardiopulmonary event. John, do you remember what the chief medical officer of Blue Cross Blue Shield regarding this when we told them that yes, we are, they are too risky for us, but we pushed them down and they, do you remember the conversation? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, and repeat the, that. What did he the say? The net it was, so he turned to the VP of uh, provider relations and said, how much does the cabbage cost us to bypass? Yeah. He said, about a, he said about a half million. Half a million. So, so we are not really truly doing the safe thing for the patient to say it's too risky, you will die, go out of our practice. We are just pushing that risk out of our practice to make it somebody else's problem. 
and we are proud of ourselves, our spine surgeon, that he didn't do a risky surgery. Whereas this is what we truly do because we are so much less risky. We can offer the surgery before the patient goes a path that there's no way back from it. And just because they get exposure to us, we put them on our protocol. Again, you remember, we move them actually better than the normal curve. And again, open surgery where we destabilize the spine, when we cut the muscle, when we fillet the patient open, they can never catch up with the normal curve again. They catch up later, but they never get to the point. And, you're, and here is where inspired spine protocols are. Now, let's go back to open surgery versus us. Do you, and do you remember that help, no help line? Here it is. That is the difference between us and open surgery. And this is no trivial thing. This is make a huge difference in people's life and as well people, uh, uh, families' life, uh, people who have to care, take care of this. And remember we talked about that, that once you quit walking, it, it does not matter what reason. If you are bedridden, if you quit ambulating, your life expectancy is worse than cancer, than if you are diagnosed with a cancer. And because your heart be conditioned, and uh, you have cardio, you will have cardiopulmonary event, you truly will die. Now, the difference between the normal curve and our curve is literally all the life experiences, wedding, birthday, vacation, all the game, all the children activity that you're losing. And you see that curve start at around 50 or sometimes earlier. That is truly statistically where this kind of problem start. And this is what we can do. We can give you that red area. We can make it a green area. You regain your function. You regain your wife, uh, your life. And lots of families break on this. Lots of relationships dest are destroyed because people cannot just keep up with the family life. Now, having said that, imagine again, this is the normal life. And uh, uh, this is where we come as Inspired Spine as educational event. See? You're realistic. We are going to move that curve as far to the right as we can. Imagine there's some, something start, they fall off, and obviously we regain, we bring them back to normal even better. But we have to just be realistic with our partnership with lots of industries. We are going to give people a meaning in life what's according to their life expectancy. We are going to connect the people. We are with our logbook. We are going to take our logbook online. We, make, we are going to make people sign up and give them a meaning of life according to the stage of their life. But, and that is what people need to understand that now when they come in and we fix them a few years back, some people think, you know, doctor, I'm so much better, but I cannot do things that I could do when all of that started, meaning back there. One of the things we do, we give people meaning for their activities and life with our partnership with all people involved to be, have a realistic better than life, have a life expectancy and life experiences and life satisfaction, what fits to their, um, to their life uh, stage. Because if that is what they expect that now after 10 or 15 years to be where all of that started, that's a Benjamin Button curve. Benjamin Button from the movie, getting younger every year. That is an unrealistic curve that if that's expectation, that will never be achieved. But we can, by combining our resources, we can put the patient on a path and giving them alternatives, what they get the life satisfaction based on a regular curve. My answer to that is usually, yeah, you and I both are not where, where you were 10 years ago and because that is unrealistic. Now, I talked to Randy Alvarez, you, we can forward this to him. And I talked as well to some uh, high level people in California and they think us packaging it as a life experience, um, literally, you know, remember our idea was always make that a log book make it online thing that people sign up, not when they fall off, they sign off here. Here, where 
those life experiences in around 2530 that we help them to move that curve up. And those people who are truly then have additional disease like falling off the cliff, then the surgical expertise comes in. So, and this is, uh, you know, the, uh, please send it to Randy Alvarez as well as, um, pro, I'll, uh, I will forward it as well to some other people. And I'm going to stop recording now, but before I stop recording, any question related to this few slides I showed you? No? Okay, then I stop recording.